Hi, this is Sue Van Note. We're continuing our reading tonight from the book Live in Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff. We're going to read selection 124. The scripture lesson is John 16, 33. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. The name of the selection is Jesus won't eliminate the chaos in our lives, but he will give it meaning. If you open the Bible to almost any chapter, you'll find stories of people just like you and me. The same people who cast out demons and defeated giants also made mistakes that would send the rest of us to jail. Seriously, consider what these guys did. They'd get life with no parole these days. Those who left everything to follow Jesus didn't get better jobs or more stable lives. They just got Jesus. They got a gulp of living water. Sometimes you hear Christians say following Jesus will make you more su successful. Just watch some of them on TV on Sunday morning and you'll hear it. They say God wants to bless you, and by bless you, they mean make you rich. Sometimes it sounds like God is a short order cook and will make us whatever we ask him for. But Jesus never said anything like that. He said he didn't come to make life easier for us. He came to rescue us and make our lives more purposeful by making us more like him. Jesus never promised to eliminate all the chaos from our lives. He said he'd bring meaning to them. He invited us into a story of grace and redemption, probably because these are the stories the disciples got wrong time and again. If you wonder why you still face some of the same struggles you brought into your relationship with God, you're in good company. He doesn't magically erase them like a product from an infomercial. He promises to be with us while we reach toward him to find more meaning in our circumstances. That's the real blessing. The thought for tonight is, what trouble are you facing right now? I know we all have many answers to that considering the circumstances we're living in today. Good night. Thank you.